name is Carlo and welcome to this first episode of Dr. Karlov. And today I will keep my promise. I will do an unboxing video on my car. I will unveil this to you. The weather is perfect. So here I am at my favorite parking lot. So let's get this show started. Okay, so I will uh, switch from onboard camera to uh, to my phone, and uh, I feel the suspense rising so are you ready for it guys hang on oh the weather is perfect and this car i think it's perfect too so, oh, I think you, one, two, <laughs> there's some shade here. Yeah, this is better. Okay, <laughs> now no teasing anymore. Oh, one, two. Wow. Boys and girls, this is a 1973 Ford Escort Mark Run RS 2000. Isn't it delicious? <laughs> Crazy car. So, this episode will be all about the exterior, the interior, and the parts and bits. Just look at it. And it drives as good as it looks. So, uh, first some history. Uh, this is the Ford Escort Mark I. Uh, they started building them uh, in, the, in the late 60s. And um, this is a model uh, about the time that the Ford Escort Mark II saw its life. So, um, at the like you have BMW M department, you have Mercedes AMG, and back in the days you had something similar with Ford. You had uh, advanced vehicle operations. If you don't mind my shadow, so <laughs> the other side is the same. Um, where was I? Advanced vehicle operations. In short, the Evo uh, department and this is a full original Evo body kit and you see the the, the white arched body kit um, and the last 400 shells were sent to Portugal so it even has the original glass in the car in, it, this was a factory near Lisbon doesn't exist anymore still original glass you can see it it's all scratched because of the of the sand the dirty roads you have over there so uh, this this 400 uh, Evo bodies were sent to Portugal and in Portugal, 
they started out, uh, it was the 1300 GT. So, although it's a very uh, special car, it's not matching numbers because uh, over the years uh, it has gotten a different engine, uh, a two liter, four cylinder, two liter block. And um, it, is, it has all the specifications of the RS2000. So, um, yeah, so big on power. Um, the dyno, um, uh, the dyno said it has 210 horsepower, and that's a, a crazy figures for a car weighing less under 900 kilos. I think uh, I haven't got the, the exact number in my head, but it's around 850 kilos. So, and that's on the rear axle. <laughs> yeah, you already saw it, um, how it's um, oversteery. And the balance of these cars is amazing. You, I have a, a dedicated drift car, but <laughs> I think I have to sell it because this car drifts even better. So, anyway, yeah, let's start with. I uh, will get to the engine, no, no worries, but let's start uh, with the interior. Uh, this is a Group 2 rally car, fully homologated, so almost everything is from that era some parts i will show them i have uh, did some minor modifications so yeah finger licking good so if you want to pick up on your portuguese bomba means pump this is fuel pump number one and fuel pump number two. Ventoninha. I think it's pronounced like that. Is ventilator. And yeah, Google it. The other words. I think you can guess. So, classic dash. Classic pedals. And yeah, handbrake on the discs. So for those hairpins, a nice spot for the navigator. Here he can hang his uh, pace notebook. And there's a fully integrated um, fire extinguish system. It goes to the back where the fuel cell is. It goes to all the vital parts. Yeah, so that I don't burn my legs. Yeah, that my navigator still likes me. So in case of trouble, I just pull this lever and we will be all good. As you can see, it has a full roll cage. It's a bolt-in. So, yeah, here are the harnesses. And there's the firewall. Let's see. Oh, uh, some extra fire ex extinguisher for the navigator. What I did was the COM system. It has a, um, yeah, the, the COM system is connected to the headphones. So driver and navigator can communicate and it has a Bluetooth uh, system. So I can connect the cameras. So that's a nice feature. It's really nice and immersive. All the, the gauges, uh, this is for the battery. You will 
see a video on that one too. This is the oil pressure, all in, um, how you call it? Imperial, English style, LB. Ah, I don't have my reading glasses, sorry. Um, water temperature, oil pressure, oil pressure. Uh, high beams, low beams, indicators. Just a small starting button. Ignition toggle switch and the master, how you call it, um, master switch for the power is over there. And behind these, there are just some plain old fashioned fuses in two fuse box. It's so easy to work on these and modern cars. Yeah, you know, if you own a modern car, you have to bring them to a rocket science rocket scientist if you want to work on it but not here pretty simple basic so also what i did myself which you recognize from my bmw autolicious is the five panel mirror no blind spots anymore uh, best modification in the car uh, very cheap, um, no tooth, <laughs> unfortunately, but it should have tooth, but there will be less accidents if you use one of these. Um, in case of emergency brake glass, there's some simple basic uh, net for your uh, roadmaps, uh, pace notebooks, and yeah, so no real, uh, what do I have here? Um, oh, the um, tire pressure. Um, yeah, some small stuff. It has a one, two, three, four, five seat harness, driver and navigator. And yeah, this is my, not my GoPro setup. Um, these are uh, verbs from from Garmin one to look at the front and one to look at navigator and driver so yeah did I forget something nope just basic honest simple and you see what I mean with easy to work on it. Yeah. Okay. Now. The, what will we do next? The trunk. The trunk. You have you basic hold me down racing clips and there we have the fuel cell with uh, spare wheel here I can refuel it's just simple I love that smell and here I have my Dual fuel pump setup. So, in case uh, one of the uh, fuel pumps, um, yeah, gives up on me, just toggle the switch in the front, and yeah, switch it to the next one, and we don't have troubles. Um, modern thing, lithium-ion battery. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty, yeah, nothing more to show you. Uh, it holds uh, 55 liters, by the way, so. Uh, and it's, the engine is quite thirsty. So, wheels, tires, brakes, suspension. 
I will show you in an, uh, another video because uh, here I have it all standing on, on force. I don't have it on the bridge, so this is for another episode because you must be dying to see the engine. So here it comes in all its classic glory. Hang on, I have to hold my phone. Wow, I. You ready for it? Yeah. Oh, the sun is shining. I have to get a different, different angle. Let's see if the sun isn't glittering too much. Yeah. So, as I said. 210 brake horsepower, crazy amount for an uh, 70s engine. This is a 2 liter uh, 4 cylinder Pinto block, um, high compression and uh, float head, a float uh, high compression piston, uh, a float head, and uh, for the Big Bang is caused by uh, its uh, double Weber carburetors. It's not the Weber 45, but it's these are the 48s. So real high on power and real thirsty too. So uh, Weber carburetors, they like a low pressure fuel. And for this, I have the Malpassi. It keeps the, uh, the the pressure at uh, something like uh, three bars in between three and three and a half. So that's what this is for. With this simple nut, when you untie this, then you can uh, adjust this little nut, and then you can raise or lower the pressure. Pretty, yeah, all all mechanical stuff. The, how do you call this? Uh, the ignition coil, yeah. Well, um, this engine has a uh, dry sump oil system, so the oil pump, I think you can see it, yeah, it's underneath here. It's connected to the belts and it pumps the oil around. And here, there's always enough oil so you never run without it yeah oh i can not yeah i cannot zoom in Hang on. yeah there it goes uh, the black stuff so and from the valve cover uh, if the oil blow by it's uh, dissipates into the uh, atmosphere right there. Um, this car came without its heater box connected, but um, in our country at the moment it's just uh, around freezing temperatures. Um, I uh, did the uh, modification. I, I connected uh, the heater box inside to the to the engine. Very simple. Uh, very easy fix so in Portugal they don't need them over there because it's always nice warm and sunny um, oh yes uh, this is um, the, the no these are the nozzles of the fire extinguisher system where all the vital parts exhaust uh, carburetors where the fuel is and of course here on other um, critical parts where some fuel uh, is moving about and you can see the oil filter, you can see it, yes, you can see it. So, yeah, 210 brake horsepower, it's crazy. Um, oh yes, uh, the clutch is operated through cable and this is for my braking uh, front and rear. So. Yeah, so all cables and only the braking is high 
hydraulic. Um, yeah, I think you can watch at this engine for hours, but yeah, just look at it. So, um, yeah, I think this video is taking on too long, so tires, wheels and suspension, do it some other time. But it's old school, old school too. So, nice and simple. Filming and closing the hood needs one leg extra. Yeah, and those lights, the front headlights, uh, look over there, and the lower ones uh, have their beams to the side of the road, so if you are in a sharp hairpin darkness then you can see uh, the whole curvature of the corner so this is the car not a ring tool don't worry I haven't sold my BMW 2002 so that will me be my token ring tool and with this car, I will blast through the hills of the Eiffel region surrounding the Nürburgring. Oh, forgot one thing. Manual gearbox. Not six, not five, but a four-speed gearbox. You will see me trying to upshift to fifth a lot of times. <laughs> I have... And not getting used to it, not yet, So, but it will. So, um, yeah, it turned out to be a pretty long video, but I think uh, the car is worth it. So anyway, we will have some nice adventures with it. And uh, yeah, just stick around. Um, forgot one thing. This video will go on just a bit longer, but it will worth the wait. All bucket up. Dry start, anyone? Okay, now for real. My name is Carlo, hope to see you all on the next episode of Dr. Carlo. Carlo out.